Good evening. What will school look like come September? That's the million dollar question. The answer could mean hundreds of millions of dollars. The Toronto District School Board report released today saying that in order to make classrooms as safe as possible this fall, it may mean having to hire thousands more teachers as well as dropping a course that many see as essential. The Ministry of Education asked school boards to plan for three different models for September. Here's what the TDSB came up with for elementary schools. The first, a pretty regular school day with safety measures in place, of course. A couple of options in this scenario. Full class sizes, varied class sizes by grade, or students divided into groups of 15. However, the school board says under this model, French classes would be slashed due to lack of teachers. And if current elementary school hours are kept, schools would need to hire nearly 2,500 more teachers at a cost of nearly $250 million. Students would also need more space. The board is considering community centers and city buildings as options for physical classrooms. In the second scenario, a hybrid model. Students would be physically in classrooms for three days and learn remotely for two. Classes would be divided into groups of 15 with students alternating schedules. Fully remote learning is the third scenario. Teachers will have an average class size, but students may be assigned to a teacher who isn't necessarily from their school. Most students with special needs would attend school full-time in person. It's a similar story for high schools. Either part-time learning in schools, part-time at home, or 100% at home. Well, I think everyone in an ideal world wants everyone back to school five days a week. It's just a matter of what that will look like. But going back to school is expensive. An additional $22.5 million for the first four months alone, according to the TDSB, who says it will require personal protective equipment, additional staff, and cleaning and support for students, including operational losses. In addition to public health protocols, the school board says it will also be screening for the virus and there are contingency plans in effect in the event a child or staff member is infected, including... There would be an isolated area that that student or staff member could stay in until they're picked up by a parent or, or a staff member could drive home. Uh, we're going to be working on those plans to finalize those plans with Toronto Public Health. Students and teachers are on the opposite ends of the spectrums when it comes to how they feel about going back to school this fall. That's according to survey re results released by the Toronto District School Board. Conducted last month, 70,000 people interviewed among them, two-thirds of families who said that they feel uh, they are likely to send their kids back to school. About 73% of students said they are comfortable going back to classrooms, but less than half, about 41% of teachers felt the same. It is a, a big discrepancy, it absolutely is. I think if we we're able to have small class sizes with proper um, uh, spacing, uh, PPE, ensuring that all the health and safety recommendations are uh, met and put in place, absolutely. However, it needs to be at the forefront, health and safety, all of the things that have uh, been put out, good ventilation in the schools. Our schools were, um, in need of repair uh, prior. And until the ministry funds the school boards adequately, I don't believe a full return is going to be the best uh, scenario to keeping everyone safe. Until then, it's, it's, uh, it's I guess it's not that ideal for the students, for the parents, for the teachers. I don't think it's unique to education. I think the fact is families right across the country and beyond uh, are thinking twice about returning to work, to school, to regular routines, and we get that. For our part, what we have to make sure is that we tell them what we're doing to make sure that it's safe. We're midway through July. We're talking about something, uh, you know, at the beginning of September. Who knows what it will look like then? Uh, so once we find out better what it will look like, we want to make sure that we're reminding everyone involved of the health precautions that we're taking. 
NTDSB also saying that they are following the strict guidelines of public health, but they do say things like PPEs as well as additional staff that they will require when they go back to school along uh, along with um, the, these guidelines that will cost about $6 million alone, and they are looking for financial support because that $6 million it will, is only estimated to be in the four months coming into school. Now, the elementary teacher, teachers of Toronto, as I mentioned to you earlier on in the show, there are three uh, different options being considered by the province uh, of going back to school. The elementary teachers of Toronto say they are in favour of fully remote option. However, they say that's not ideal also. For a full list of this report, you can head to our website, citynews.ca.